Moss Cavity Escapes guest behind me. Not one, but two glides going to Texas. The cool thing about these two boats is they're actually going to repeat customers who have their other models. They have a Vantage, they have a Lostman, going two glides. So we're going to start on this one first. Ori, come on in. We have the lean bars custom made for the customer. We have the uh, V-Marine on the back which is removable, lean bar tubes, as you can see, go forward or backwards, the carbon marine tiller extension with the trim and tilt switch on it with a quick disconnect so you can take the tiller extension off, V-Marine push pole holders on it, center console grab rail, and like our boys at Flood Tide, we love those guys, we have the undermount Garmin there on the swivel ram mount, so while you're running, you can look at your GPS. Instead of having it right here, it's actually in a better line of sight because you sit catty corner when you're running a tiller. So then you have the uh, cooler cradle going on, different style lean posts in the front, oversized casting platform. The other thing I'll point out is this has the bulkhead in the front with the rod tubes, sea deck under the gunnel from Castaway Customs. It's on the base Bramlin trailer. He has all his controls underneath, so his trim tabs. Goes forward, it actually goes down. So we mount them backwards so when you're running, you don't get confused on up and down. You have your switches and a 12 volt plug. You don't know about the glide, 17 feet, 60 inches wide. It's got a, it's a bad mamma jamma. It's a little teeny skiff with big spray rails and big water attitude. Speeds with a 20, you're going to be uh, uh, in the high 20s. You will be in the 26 to, you know, 28 miles an hour, and that's loaded down. That's even with two guys in gear. Put a 30 on it, you go 30, but you pay the penalty in draft, cost, maintenance, and so on. So power to weight ratio, a 20 horse is a really good motor for this. Uh, for this. We also have a pop-up cleat, and we also have the removable trolling motor mount, because he'll take it off of one boat, throw it on here. He's a fly fisherman, he fishes a lot by himself. He wanted to get back in those real smaller feeder creeks. And then let's jump right over here to this one. Another interpretation of what somebody calls a perfect boat for them. Another glide again, going to a repeat customer. Flush mount here for the cleat. Different style casting platform removable. Cooler cradle, but instead of the full under gunnel, we did just the real pads. He also has a dual setup underneath, so he could run a one three gallon or two six gallons and move it back and forward. He has the power pole micro on the back, which we love this unit, by the way. Again, Carbon Marine, our boy Joe, tilt, tilt and trim, fuel water separator, nothing on top, nice and clean, no lean bars on any of the boat. The other things, he likes the live bait fish. You'll also notice he has his trim tabs on the gunnel there. But you look underneath, you got the compression latch for your live well. He has his switches inside over here. Because think about it, when you use your switch, which is for your nav lights, your bilge, let's just say your live well, you can, you know, you get to that. You don't need it there all the time. So his interpretation was, Kevin, let's just put it in the dry compartment. So when I need to, I can just open it up and flip it on. So two different glides. The other thing I forgot to mention, we've been doing this since 2004. Or if you swing over there and look at that camera, you'll see the spray on Linex keel guard. We were the first boat manufacturer to start using this, and this was back in 2004. And back in the day, on my personal boats, even back in 96 and 97, I was using it on the bottom of my canoes and skiffs for my personal use. That is awesome. You don't have to do it right away. You can do it down the road. But uh, Linex, Keel Guard, color matched. That is the way to go. But you're looking at two different boats, two different colors, two different setups but they both see the potential in the glide. They both already experienced East Cape, and like always, they're repeat customers. I say it all the time, pictures don't do this thing justice. You guys are gonna see these out here on the water, but if you're looking for a, a skiff from a quality builder who's been around the longer, we've been around the longest, passion. That's what we're made of, guys. Y'all take care. These are sick. Peace.